Hello and welcome. You are gaming with me, Brothgar, and today I have some more loadout weapon crafting action for you. You'll also notice the new lower thirds below. Those who comment, like, and share actually end up in some sort of statistical data list, and the top five will be featured down there when I actually go to edit that video. So I'm gonna give that a little shot, and that's about the only time I'm really gonna mention this. So we're gonna see how that works out. But today's recommendation comes from Mitch, and Mitch says, I don't know if you read my previous comment about this topic but I talked about weapons beam weapons and when you have two of the same weapon you can switch between your twin and the other twin will cool down so basically you're hot swapping your beam weapons so that you never actually have to worry about the cooldown which you know could potentially just make you OP all the time so I'm gonna give this a shot here so if I come on over here to weapon crafting you're gonna see the beam weapons I have set up but they're not the same but they are the same they have the same name Twin Broth 1 and Twin Broth 2. Let me customize this and show you what's up. I have chosen the stock just to be standard because I'm kind of a standard stock kind of guy. And if you talk about the scanner here, I'm using Bioscanner for the first time pretty much ever. But that's going to just look add a little bit a little bit to the weapon. Being able to see people behind the walls, I figured for why not, I'm actually going to stick that on there. I chose the Assault Barrel because I feel if you couple that with the standard cooling, it's kind of a good mix between the amount of time you shoot down range and the amount of time it takes to kind of cool down. So I feel like I'm at a pretty good balance here to where I should be able to hot swap just between the two weapons and just keep beaming the entire time. Now, if you actually come on back over to my other weapon, I basically just have a standard beam rifle and then I also have one here just in case somebody pulls out a shield so I am running a Tesla build here so if I come into the game and I just test this out obviously we're gonna know what's up because it's pretty much just a standard beam weapon so here we are we got Helga right in front of me shoot him right in the chest I'm getting 9 10 or so damage shoot up above and it jumps a little bit to like 13 or so 12 13 it does a pretty decent amount of damage. It's not a huge amount of damage. I was doing a bit of experience trying the actual, putting a sniper barrel on it because I thought, you know, maybe I could get away with it because that is going to give me a little bit more DPS. But it didn't seem like it was a huge difference. I mean, you could see how much the headshot there is doing, but I just feel like I build up a lot of heat really quick. Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, I tell you what, I actually am going to go with the sniper barrel. I'm making this change on the fly, so I'm actually going to save this out. Yes. Add myself another 2400 bluets to this build here, so Twin Broth has a sniper barrel with a standard mag. And then I am going to come back over here to my weapon crafting. And I'm going to modify the other one here. All right, as for loadouts, I'm going to be running Twin Broth and Twin Broth, but they're both different. And I'll be having hand grenades on my first loadout, and then for my second loadout, I'll have my Turt Buddy and then Twin Broth as it is right now. I want to make sure I'm actually going to match these up, so I'm going to put the standard Twin Broth above, and then I'm going to put the standard Twin Broth below. Now, I'm actually am using two different weapons. I guess you could only build one weapon and then put it on both slots if you really wanted to and not take up both two spots, but I'm just being creative with it. So let's head into the game and see how this actually works out in real life. All right, looks like we have Jackhammer Fissure at night. So for this build, I'm actually going to start off with the Turt Buddy because Turt Buddies are going to help me kind of defend the flag. And it looks like the enemy team is off to an early lead, but the game has just started. Let's see what all happens here. Ah, what up, buddy? Ah, the extra range of the beam rifle coming in handy right there. I feel like I'm going to set up my turret. Yeah, I feel like we got a nice range right here. I should be able to hit over in this area and down there and kind of defend the frontal area really well. Wow, that was interesting. I wonder where that came from. Liking the concept of Twin Broth. He's taking on the turret right now. The turret's firing back, so he's distracted with that. I'm going to come around back. What up, bro? Doing some damage. Hot swapping over to the other twin broth. Now picking up his other friend. That one's overheated, so now I'm swapping back over to the original. This is the straight-up beam weapon. Able to do some damage. He's got some health out of it, though. Nice. I'm able to swap right between these. No problem at all. I'm in a very dangerous spot. Yep. Oh, that's all right. I was able to defend it there. Gonna swap back over to Twin Broth. 
This is actually working out really good. It's quick, quick, quick. Yeah, no problem at all. I can constantly fire with this current setup. I feel like if I shoot full out and then swap and then shoot full out, I will potentially start to kind of run out of heat. So let's just test that out. Oh, crap. I should not have done that. Okay, so we're running this guy down. No, 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 no. Nope, nope. All right, so my teammate's doing a good job of setting up mines, and that's going to help me defend this out. I want to be running the normal yellow beam here, just the slug beam, as opposed to the Tesla beam, if I have a choice. This is working out really well so far. Mitchell. Mitch. Sorry, your name's not Mitchell. My bad. All right, so let's see if we can't move up and become a little bit more offensive with this build. I feel like it's a pretty good defense build because you can you just constantly drop the damage on somebody. Oh, yeah. Sniper barrel really coming in handy there. Hot swapping because I ran out of heat. No problem at all. I'm up to a five kill streak. Wow, Mitch, this is working great. Then again, beams are kind of OP that way. This guy's moving around. Tesla's going to help me kind of track him down. Swap on over. Just keep going. I am actually able to overheat the weapon there. You saw how it's kind of stacking up on top of each other. But for the most point, I feel like that's a good balance. Having a little bit of extra heat, no problem at all. I'm up to six. This guy's coming back at me with the same new broth kind of weapon I'm building. I've got a constant beam flow, though. Ah, boy. Ah, he's got a friend. I'm going to have to move on back and see if I can't find that health pack up here. I'm liking this so far. Oh, we got two down below. Swap on over. Come on, where you at? That was some bad aim. Nice thing about the beam weapons is that you always pretty much get your kills. It's not like somebody can kill steal you all that easily. What up, bud? Kill streak of seven so far. This is just brutal. This is straight up brutal. <laughs> wow. I'm liking this. This is, uh, well, like I said, it's kind of OP. You knew it was going to be OP. I'm not sure how I'm hitting that guy. What's up, Mr. McGroove? Mittens. Mittens Groove, right? Something like that? Why don't you peek on out? Come on. I know you want to. Oh, did you think I was overheated, bud? This is great. Always having something you can shoot just makes a huge difference. And come on, give me that. All right, so we're going to defend this one down real nice. There we go. Okay. Oh, uh oh, getting double teamed. Getting double teamed. Going to have to get some health out of this. I'm in a bad location here. Elbow free me! Woo! I'm still alive! I'm still alive! <laughs> no! Oh no, I got health! I got health! I got health! Go, 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 go! At this point, I really want a kill streak. I just want to see how high I can go. Oh wow! Ah! <laughs> All right. Nope, not falling for that one. Thank you. Come again. Come on, bud. Okay, what I really need is health. Ah, oh, there it is. I got it. I got it. I didn't get this guy to come close enough to me. Nope. Not gonna happen, but I'll be able to outrun him. Nobody sees me. Nobody sees me. Come on. Come on. Come on, we're just waiting, aren't we? We're just straight up waiting. Yeah, this guy's smart. Oh, what good skills right there. Being able to keep that distance. Ah, he got me. 
hammer. But he's not gonna survive with it, that's for sure. Got him. I got him in my sights. I can just constantly hunt this guy down. There we go. Ah! Not able to dish out enough DPS to take him down. Still gonna be able to get my revenge though. So, let's see if I can get my hands on the hammer now. Are you kidding me? There we go. There we go. Be able to get that back. I'm just going to ignore that guy. Straight up ignore him. Oh boy, here we go. 1v1. 1v1. Who's going to win this? Oh, we traded somehow. That's impressive right there. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, that works too. That works too. I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna diss on that. What up, bud? Beam Wars. Yeah, what up? I got more beams. Yeah, there we go. Mr. Mitten's Groove. What up? Oh, that's not good. Swapping on over. Oh, boy. Ah. He's able to chase me down. Looks like my team, though, has the flag, so we are in a really interesting state where we both have the flag yet again. The enemy is still in the lead, so... I mean, there's that, right? They are moving as a pack, though. I gotta defend this guy. What up? Hot swap. Oh! I thought I had that guy. Darn it! The enemy is kicking our butt. They're able to run the flag a little bit more effective than we are. And they're all up in our base. There goes one. I think I was hitting headshots right there. So far, Mitchell, I'm feeling like this is a really good weapon build. I do sometimes feel like I need a little bit more DPS, but then again, at that medium to long range, I'm just absolutely brutal. I mean, what are you going to do about it? Look at this. I just constantly, constantly have something to fight back with. It, it's just, it's just insane. I mean, there's no way you're going to have such a hard time defending from that unless you have some sort of sniper rifle that you can just really do a lot of peak damage to take me down. Then, again, there are certain weaknesses. Not having that high DPS, that means people who are on the move, jumping around, potentially carrying a hammer or something like that, are, it can be a little bit hard to take down. But all in all, it's a good weapon build. Good strategy. Hot swap, hot swap. Deal some more damage. Got him, even though he was getting health, was able to keep that beam on him just long enough to take him down. Fortunately, though, he did take my health back. Guess I don't need one as of right now, though. What we really need is a flag. We need to stop hanging out in the back here. Kill streak of five. Uh oh. That's right, I was able to take that guy on just well enough. Where'd he go? Oh, they constantly have multiple people back here. Let's see if I can't remove, get back to safety here. Oh, the health pack ain't there. That's not good. But it is over here, so that's cool enough for me. Ooh, turret picking up a kill for me. Up to a kill streak again. I'm doing a lot of these kill streaks. This is definitely a death snatch weapon. For, I would roll this in death snatch. That'd probably be a really good another build for this. Yeah, I know you have. 
Looks like the enemy though is in midfield or advanced. So if I can use this opportunity, I might be able to get my hands on that flag once again. Are you what? That has happened twice to me now where I definitely have the lead. Ah, I'm feeling like there's some lag on the server that is just really kicking my butt right there. So maybe I have to anticipate things a little bit further ahead. Because right there, that should have been that should have been me taking down the enemy. Arr, that's frustrating. But at any rate, as far as the weapon build goes, I've already kind of talked about it so far. It's a good build. Uh, we got health. That's what's up. And it's 4v1. They're all out of offense. They're going to take us down. Won't be a lack of killing, though. That's for sure. I tried to elbow. <laughs> oh, what up, bud? Oh, still got that hammer. Oh, kill to death ratio, though. 20 to 6. I mean, that says it all for what I'm trying to do here. It is definitely a good weapon build. We're not really working too well. You know, objectively, though. But as far as a weapons demonstration, it's definitely working good. See, just like that, there's so many missed opportunities in this game, it's kind of a shame. But at the end of the day, I'm definitely liking the twin beam concept here. Twin broth. It's just a really fun, good setup for running beam weapons. It's a little maybe potentially a little bit OP. At any rate, if you liked this video, found it helpful, informative in some way, shape, or form, make sure to hit that like button on the way out. And there's also the comment section below. All that's going to help me support my content here. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. I do a lot more than just loadout, but loadout's my main content for right now. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace. Brothgar out. Oh, I got some damage on him. Boom! Holy macaroni! I am on a roll. <laughs> the skill cannon paying off, baby. That's what I should have called it. Mad skills. <laughs> you guys got to build this gun. That's what I'm saying right now. It works out good.